All right, this is Mike, and we are back with Scenario 2 of Discover Lands Unknown. Uh, hopefully you've watched Scenario 1. If not, then I'm not going to explain things as much, so I recommend you go back and look at that. Uh, we're sticking with the If It Ain't Broke, Don't Fix It mantra, and I've got uh, Grandma Gertrude over here with her ability to turn wood into food. I'm starting with one food and one water, as normal. 12 stamina, no damage. Hopefully we'll keep it that way. And just to note, we are still in the valley for the second scenario. Scenarios three and four use my second terrain, which is the Badlands. And this is a big breaking point for the game for me. I have only played scenario one three times, the third time being the recorded playthrough. And I've really enjoyed it. I felt like there's a good amount of variety. But if scenario two, which is in the same terrain type, I'm going to see the same landmarks... The, uh, the same tiles, and they're in kind of a similar configuration. If this feels the same as Scenario 1, it's going to feel like I only got two scenarios in the game instead of four, and it's going to majorly affect my uh, kind of vision of the value of the game. But anyway, let's uh, look at what the scenario has in store for us. This scenario is called Lost in the Wild, and you'll notice there's three cards this time. Last time we only had two stages. May 1976, that's a year after the last one. A search of your new campsite reveals no clues as to how you got here or why. Only a torn and faded scrap of paper too damaged by the elements to read. You'll have to explore the area more thoroughly if you're ever going to make it home. When a three-map tile is revealed, place one counter on this card. When there are player number counters on this card, advance to stage two. Well, we'll certainly begin to stage two a lot faster than we did in scenario one. We just have to flip over a single number three tile. And that'll happen pretty quickly. Just like last time in a one-player game, I get three projects to start. And I've got Ebola. Never built that last time. It's defense, though. Leather armor. Huh. For two furs. Well, considering I never even got a single pelt last game, that might not happen. And finally, oh, our good old friend, Wooden Staff. That let us uh, re-roll one combat die. So that's pretty good for one wood. I, I probably will build that again. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our first turn. I've got 12 stamina. I want to work my way up to these threes up here. And I know that there's a water source in at least one of the twos from having played this a few times now. So I'm going to go here for one stamina. And I'm going to scout the two for another stamina. Okay, we got some wood right off the bat. Question is, will I turn that into food or will I keep it as wood to maybe uh, build a wooden staff from it? Gonna move up again, uh, puts me at nine stamina, scout, putting me to eight, and oh man, more wood. All right, well, good, I can get food and uh, potentially a wooden staff. And I've got that tree, I never investigated that last time, and I don't think I've ever uh, looked at it in any of the games I've played, so maybe I should check that out. Okay, so that's eight stamina. Um, no water source yet, so I kind of feel like I might go over here to there, that'll let me pick up the wood along the way, and then I could uh, both scout this, see if maybe there's some water there, and then also uh, get a three and immediately be ready for the next stage, so that's pretty fast. So yeah, let's see that, so that's one, two, let me do six stamina so far, and I start with the food, so I'm not gonna get this for food yet, I'm gonna see if I can get my staff maybe. And it is a wood, so I'll go ahead and build my staff. Uh, so again, wood and staff, cost one, the project goes up here, and I can build more wooden staffs as often as I want. Um, I discard my one wood, and I get a new project to replace my old one. It's a good old friend, the trap, that would let me uh, run away if I was losing a battle. Not a bad thing, but for two stone, kind of expensive. And I'm going to get my staff, and there she is. During combat, you may reroll your die. Not the enemy's die, but your own. Okay, I've got five stamina left. Let's move up here, putting it down to four. Let's do three, and any water? No, but hey, even more food and wood. So I've got a lot of uh, chances for for getting uh, my you know food ability from my wood, but uh, I haven't actually found a water source yet. Okay, and I'm gonna go down to two to scout. Let's reposition the camera a bit. So again, down to two stamina and Hey, it's our good old friend, the Stone Circle. Uh, so that was the thing that gave me the map to find the shotgun. So, I mean, I don't know if I need to fight in this scenario or not yet, so I'm not sure if that's worth uh, going after. It was certainly a lot of stamina. And we got some animals, but hey, 
Let's see what happens with our stage. The footprints you found are large, with terrible claws, but they don't match any creature you know. Still, there's something familiar about them. You're not safe here as long as that thing is roaming about. You have to track its movements and confront the monster, and this headache you're developing isn't making the task any easier. Okay, so one stamina from at a landmark that does not have a counter on it to place a counter on that landmark. When there are player count number counters on the map, spawn special monster token 86 in my space. That enemy will lead to the next stage. Huh. Okay, so this is being really weird for solo that like I'm able to progress things kind of immediately. So I can spawn this monster that it sounds like I gotta kill for the final boss like whenever the heck I want. So, hmm. I kinda think I should like rush over investigate those uh, standing stones, try to find my shotgun again. Where was it? It was like on the flashlight icon, which I think was on a number two. Yeah, I think it was on a number two. So there's not too many number twos around. Yeah, I mean, I could, uh, I can go investigate the standing stones, uh, go get the shotgun, and then theoretically be ready for whatever monstrous thing they try to throw at me. So I've got uh, two stamina left. Um, I should probably go and defeat these guys with my wooden staff. Well, you know what, if I'm gonna do the standing stones, let's go over to them and then I can kind of like do a little circuitous path back around. Uh, so I'm gonna stop right there with my two stamina. Let's go to our first night phase. Okay, one water, I suffer damage. I've got the water I started with, but so far I haven't found another water source. That's a little worrying. Deep sleep, I get seven more stamina because I'm not out of fire, so I'm up to nine. Uh, inspiration, I get another project card. And patrol, uh, there are no monsters, so I'm going to spawn a monster on the lowest numbered landmark, which is actually going to be over here on the tree instead of on the one near me, which is good for me because I wanted to go over to those standing stones. Uh, so let's see what my new project is. The fishing trap. Three wood, geez. Uh, I've never actually gotten this one, so I'm not sure what it does, but for three wood, it better be pretty amazing. All right, so that's uh, my first night phase. We're going into round two with nine stamina. I've got a wooden staff build, I've got food, but no water and no water in sight yet. Uh, which does make me think I should probably at least take a second to explore here. So I'll spend one, two stamina to move over there and scout it. Oop, and I forgot to actually uh, draw my enemy for the tree back there. So let's see. Ah, it's just a little wolf hanging out over there. Uh, let's look at his card. Okay, nine, five, pretty tough. Two life, that's pretty tough too. One meat and one pelt for killing him. Uh, but I need two pelts for my leather armor, so... Again, like in the last game, I'm probably going to avoid him unless absolutely necessary. It doesn't seem like it really would make sense in real survival situation to go out of your way to fight a wolf. And uh, now we're back to the actual round two. I'm going to spawn some hunting guys over here. And happily, just what I wanted, although it is pretty far out of my way, but a water source over there. So I've got some pretty good uh, chances for food over here. So I'm going to go over to that water and try to mine it dry. So I'll go one, two, three. Um, and let's see if it's actually water. Two-thirds chance. And it is. Excellent. So let's see. I've got four stamina left. I'm only holding two things right now, so I've got eight capacity. So I'm going to spend all four of my stamina just getting water. Don't see much reason to uh, take it easy this time. We saw how quickly water could run out in the last game. And, uh, yeah, I'm far away enough from the wolves, so I should be pretty safe. Next round, I'll try to kind of curve around here after maybe even getting a bit more water. Okay, our second night phase. i got to eat my only food. So I am down to just water and my staff now. Gain seven stamina, and I uh, get a threat card since I'm not at fire. Thirsty Predator. Something is waiting for you in the shadows. Something with eyes gleaming in the dark. Spawn one monster token at the water source nearest you. Oh, man. Uh, so I guess that means that he is on my space. Because there's certainly only one water source, and it is me. So I uh, need to get a monster. Gosh, it wasn't anything too terrible. Of course it's a friggin' bear. That's not good. <laughs> okay, so Hungry Bear... Uh, I need a 9 to hurt him. He only needs a 4 to hurt me. He's got 4 life. <laughs> yeah, 2 meat and 2 pelts. Good luck with that. Let's uh, see if I can escape being damaged here. All right, so I got a 10. I did hurt him, but he hurt me. And clearly, uh, me hurting him doesn't really matter much with him having so much life. But him hurting me, 
pretty terrible. So the bear's got one damage token, and I have to scroll one of my damages down to the unhealable one. Bad start here. Okay, and then uh, the bear does retreat. Since he rolled an eight, he's going straight down. So the nice thing is I can at least get some more water. All right, so I've got seven stamina, but I clearly want to be at least uh, more than two spaces away from the bear. So that's going to take one, two, three, four. They'll leave me with three stamina left, so five. Okay, so I can get two more water, so I'm going to do that. And then uh, hopefully I won't immediately have to eat. So I've got six water now. And then uh, three, four, five, six. Leaves me with one stamina. And we're going to do uh, the 14 exploration card again, which, if I'm remembering correctly, should give me the map to a shotgun. Yep, standing stones, card 15. And there it is, map rubbing. Need to spend one stamina in the flashlight, which I'm pretty sure was on a number two last time, but I'll check the threes as well if I need to. I know it wasn't on a number four. And I got one stamina left to get out of uh, the likely range of that bear, because there's only one night card that moves them three spaces, so it should be safe. Let's go to the night phase. Nice, one water, got that to spare. Glad I did not take any meat damage and hopefully I'll get some meat this turn. Uh, I get eight stamina. I replace all rocks, but I haven't done any, so that does nothing. And the monster moved two toward me. Well, so here they come. Bloop, 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 bloop. Hello, Mr. Bear. And uh, let's see what I can do with my eight stamina. Okay, so I got a lot of water. Let's try to get some food. So I'm gonna go here and hopefully be able to hunt something for some meat. Curl around here, use my power to get some food, and then curl around here and hopefully get some berries or some food there. So, should be hopefully a very uh, fulfilling turn food-wise. So first I'm gonna go here and let's see what I'm fighting. A turkey, our good friend the turkey from last time. Okay, so I need to get a seven. Remember I have a reroll from my staff to get one meat. Beautiful, got a 10, didn't even need to use my reroll. And uh, the four doesn't matter because he couldn't hurt me and he's not gonna run away at all. So I defeat the turkey and I get one meat for myself. And just to remind you, you can't eat the meat until you cook it to its food side at a fire, but there actually is a fire uh, that has not burned out yet. So hopefully I will be able to get to it. So that leaves me with seven stamina. Let's go one, two. I'm just gonna use my power and turn that into a immediately edible food. And then I'm gonna go one, two, three. It leaves me with two stamina. And let's see what I get here. A berry, good, more food. Although again, it has a chance of sickening me. So I'm gonna use that one last if I can help it. Okay, so I've got two stamina left. I've got uh, all the food I could need for the moment. I mean, not a lot and uh, a lot of water though. And uh, so I'm gonna, I guess I'll scout this one. Although I am, I do have a straight line to the fire. But I mean, yeah, I don't remember for sure whether the, uh, the icon that has the shotgun was on a number two or number one. So I'll spend one stamina to scout, leaving with one for next turn. And uh, oh, some wood, hey? I always like that since it becomes food for me. I'm not sure I'm gonna go that way right away. I'd rather kind of get to the fire. Although I guess it doesn't matter if I get to the fire right away because uh, I need to explore down here anyway to try to find that shotgun. So I'm gonna stop there with one stamina. Not much reason to uh, spend my last one yet. All right, I have to spend a food. So I'm gonna spend my regular one, not my berry yet, because if the berry poisons me, I'd like to have some medicine. I get eight stamina, bring me up to nine. Oh man, and this is good for me. All the wood features regain new tokens. And I've, uh, I've already been over two of them. So I'm just gonna refresh those. Could even run right back over there and get another food. That is something to consider for just uh, two stamina out of my way. Okay, I get a... Uh, and peril. I'm not at a fire, so I draw one threat card. All right, and by the way, that was the last nice night card. So now we're on to the red ones for the rest of the game. Strange symbols. I've gotten this one before. Two monsters, uh, two spaces, each monster toward me. So the bear, you can't quite see him, but he, he's right here above me. And the wolf, uh, not too close, so I'm not too worried about him. Okay, so I've got nine stamina. Could go one, two, three, four, five, six. That would give me two food for sure, which is pretty awesome. Um, or I could just go one, two, three and save three stamina. So it cost me three stamina to get a food. And let's see, how much uh, space do I have? I have three, six, I have eight. 
I'm holding eight things right now. So if I got both of those foods, I would be filled up. Although, <laughs> you know, the game will find a way to make me spend them pretty quickly. But yeah, I mean, it seems worthwhile. So I'm going to go one, two, make that a food. Three, four, five, six, make that a food as well. So I'm not revealing them at all. I'm just using Gertrude's little gardening power to feed myself for days. So that leaves me two food and a berry. So three food plus some meat I can turn into food and five water. I'm doing pretty darn well. Got three stamina left. Let's uh, see what this little uh, two down here is. Hey, just what I wanted. It is my friend, the, uh, the shotgun. You know, it's weird. I feel like, I mean, y'all could go back and compare the videos, but I feel like I'm getting some of the things in the same location. Like, I, I feel like these were in the same spot last game. Just means I didn't shuffle well enough, because clearly with six twos, they should be in a different configuration. Okay, so I've got two stamina left, and, uh, ooh, actually, do not have room for that. So let's, uh, let's stop with the two stamina I have, uh, assuming that the night card will make me spend some of my items and I won't have as much good stuff as I have now. Okay, well, there we go. We knew they'd make us spend it. Uh, I will take a uh, sickness damage unless I can spend one food and one water. And I have no source of medicine right now, so I'm definitely going to spend it. Okay, and I get seven stamina because I'm out of fire. Never know where fire is. So uh, I'm at nine. Each fire burns out. Well, that sucks. Guess I can't cook that one meat unless I get some wood, like actually get wood. And then I move each uh, monster two spaces toward me. So bear is kind of hunting me down. Wolf is coming too. You can't see him, but neither of them is within two spaces, so it should be safe-ish. All right, I've got nine stamina. Um, so I want to get that food, and then I want to go get the shotgun, and then I got to get to, I mean, assuming that's strong enough, I don't know how tough this super monster is, uh, I want to get to a landmark and start uh, what might be the final battle for this one. So let's go one, two, bring me down to seven stamina. So now I've got two inventory spaces. Get another berry. Hopefully they won't uh, poison me, knock on wood. And then uh, one, two, three, four. That oh, sucks how expensive this is. So I'm down to three stamina. And then the map ring says I got to spend one more and I get exploration card 18. Okay, here's our friend shotgun again. So it's got two shots, uh, plus six to my roll with each shot. And if I get up to a 16, so like it's a, a 10 before the plus six, then I get plus one damage. So hopefully two shots will be enough for whatever I'm about to face. Okay, and I've got two stamina left. I really just need to find a uh, landmark if I'm gonna find out what this monster is all made of. So let's spend one here. Oh, there's something to hunt right next to me. Although I don't have a way to cook the meat. And there's some wood over there. I don't actually remember if there are any landmarks on the number twos. So maybe, yeah, I'm going to move down here uh, with my last stamina and set myself up. Well, I guess there's no way to move, so no reason to move, I mean. So I'll stay here, and uh, that way if like, a monster spawns next to me, I'll be able to run a little bit further away. Let's go to the night card. Hunger. I still have one real food before I start eating berries. I gain seven stamina, bring me up to eight. And then uh, monsters move two towards me, and I get a new monster adjacent to me. So, good thing I didn't move my fur full thing. Okay, so the bear's right there. Hey, you can see him. Wolves are right there. Hello, friends. And my last monster is going to be over here. And just another wolf. Okay, so uh, it doesn't mean that I'll need to keep moving. And it's going to be problematic if I get this boss, because... You know, if I stay in one place to fight them, then uh, who knows if I'll be able to deal with these uh, enemies as well. Okay, I've got eight stamina. I'm gonna use one to move here. Again, I'm not worrying about the meat because I don't have fire to cook it at, and usually those guys will only give you meat. I'll use uh, one to scout, see if we get a landmark for me to spawn our friend at, and we did. There's the plane. And yes, man, there's wood right next to me, become food. There's a regular source of food there. And I still got four water, so I'm pretty good to go, I think. Um, yeah, unfortunately, there's no other weapon I can craft. If I can get a stone ever, I could build a bola, which says it's a defense item, so that could be useful. Uh, but in any case, I'm going to move towards that plane, so let's go here. Use my power to get an automatic food. So let's see, I'm at... Three, six, eight, ten. So I'm full up of items. Um, but I'll just throw away the meat if uh, I get something else because clearly that's not helping me much. One, two. Okay, that gets me to three. 
Now, I have to spend one stamina um, to spawn the guy. So the question is, do I investigate the plane first? I guess I should. I mean, what if it has a defensive item, right? It's only one stamina. So I'll go ahead and do that. So that's uh, one stamina to get 34. I've never seen this one before, so let's see what it does. Crash seaplane. Whoever was trying to land this thing here would have been better off trying to land somewhere else. The plane is clearly never going to fly again. Uh, resolve card 36. Oh, now I will note that this has a book icon. Uh, if you remember back to the, the first uh, scenario, the journal I got in the cave would have let me uh, add one to this, so I could have done a special 35 card for some kind of bonus from the book. But I don't have that option right now, so let's see what 36 gives me. Okay, flight plan. With the map of the plane's flight plan, you're able to spot some additional debris. So for one stamina, if I'm in the space with the shovel, which I have not found yet, but I think it's uh, in one of the ones or the twos, and new expiration card number 37. Yeah, curious what it is, but I'm not sure I'm going to get to that. And actually, I need to choose, do I keep this flight plan, or do I uh, do I throw away my meat? Well, I mean, who knows what will happen, so I guess I'll keep this in case I get a chance, and I'll throw away the meat. Sorry, buddy, never got to eat you. Don't mean to waste your food. And, okay, I'm going to, well, so you know what, I'm not going to activate the, the boss yet, because I only have two stamina left, and that seems like a recipe for getting killed. <laughs> so let's uh, stop where we are and uh, see what happens with the night card. Water shortage. Discard two water. Oof. Okay, and then each survivor returns one of their damage to a skull damage. Well, happily I only have one skull damage and nothing else. I only get six stamina, so I'm up to eight. But uh, So I've got two water left and three food. So I'm um, doing pretty well. Uh, movie response monster three spaces. So the... Uh, the bear is actually getting pretty close. So there's the wolf, like he'll be within striking distance. And the other wolf. It's not great, but I mean, I guess I could run away, but I've got a shotgun, I've got a wooden staff. So I want to see what the monster is and maybe kill him this turn. I don't really know what'll happen if I do. So I'm spending one stamina, it leaves me with seven. And it says that I get 86. What the heck? It has a ragged white beard and thick claws. Perhaps it was human, but not anymore. That's disturbing. I need to get a 10 to hit it. And it's got a, a 5 um, to hit me. If I use a flame item, apply minus 3 to the enemy roll. Well, that's lovely. Gain okay, reward. I get to advance to stage 3. So I've got... I can take 2 damage before I actually die. So... If I use my shotgun and my wooden staff, I just need to get a four or higher to hit him each time. He's probably going to hit me both times and just, uh, you know, straight up injure me. <laughs> but I'll still be alive. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I'd found some stone to get that bola now. Um, and if I get lucky and roll an unmodified 10, uh, then the plus six will bring it to a 16. And the shotgun will do two damage and kill him straight up. You know, not, not going to re-roll if I get a hit right off the bat, but at least gives me something. So, uh, let's fight this guy and see how we do. So I get one immediate fight for free, if you will, and then he's going to run away. And if he runs into this unexplored portion, I'll need to uh, waste some stamina actually exploring to find him. So this is pretty big. So I would love if he got a four or lower on the red die. And then I'm using a shotgun bullet, of course, and then I have my re-roll from, re from my wooden staff. So if I can get at least a 4, I'm fine. But if I get a 10, he's dead straight up. So let's hope for that 10. Okay, this is kind of the worst of both worlds. I did not get what I needed. So I'm going to need to use the reroll. And he is hurting me. Okay, come on. 10, 10, 10, 11, or 12. Oh my gosh. Well, that severely changes things. I, I missed twice. God, I don't even know what the uh, the odds of that were. So I now only have one undamaged thing. Remember, I can take damage there, and then another damage will uh, lead to my death. Um, <laughs> I only have one shotgun bullet left, so I only got one more chance to use it. And he's retreating eight, so he's retreating straight down to where I can't even reach him right now. Hmm. Okay, that was not great. That was really a bummer. So I've got seven stamina left. I've got a few options here. 
I could discharge into him and hope for a 10. Let's see. So that's uh, one-fourth of the time I'll get a 10. So the chances of getting it with a reroll uh, would be a little bit less than 50%. So that's not great. But there's also all these other monsters hunting me. Hmm. The other possibility is there is somewhere in like the threes and the fours, but also potentially all the way to the north, the the third water source that is poison, which gives me plus one to my die rolls. And if I could find that, I could get so much poison that I would be guaranteed to get up to the ten with the shotgun and just automatically kill him. So I've got seven stamina left. I mean, it can't hurt to like even scout these two places real quick and see if there's anything. All right, so there is stone to get the bola, but the thing is, I the shotgun is my only way to really hurt him, so I don't want to get a defensive item. I need to get a way to actually kill him. Okay, and then five. I'm going to flip this. Oh, man. So it's, like, super expensive to even move into his space. That's not great. And there's no water source. So I've got five stamina left. Um... If I go here and then scout until I have three stamina left, so I still could still get an attack on him if it just seems hopeless. So let's try that. So one and then two. I'll flip this. Come on, water. Ooh, right next to me. Okay, that's that's really promising. Um, so again, there are two waters left, and one of them is poison, and I don't know which one. So hopefully the one I just put down is poison because I need it more than I need uh, real water. Um, oh, and there is a. Uh, a landmark there I've never explored before, but I'm not going to deal with that. So let's see what the water gods give us. Or the not water gods, as it were. Come on, poison. Come on, poison. Last time the game was so nice to me, giving me water just when I needed it. No! Oh, man. So that means the other water source with the poison is all the way on, like, the other crazy side of the world. Okay. So, huh. Still got food and... Oh, my gosh. No, I do still have one regular food. Got two stamina left. So, hmm. I mean, the bola isn't gonna... All right, I'm just gonna stop there. And I guess I'm gonna charge into this guy and just take my chances next turn. It's not looking great. A little bit less than 50% chance that I shoot him. Okay, spoiled food. Discard one food or one meat. Ah, oh, man, so I have to discard my food. I don't have my meat anymore. Now I'm feeling like that flight pain was pretty dumb. Gotta spend one water. I've got that. Well, heck, I've got all the water I need now. Get eight stamina, so I'm up to ten. And then... Spawn one monster adjacent to my space. Well, hey, there's already so many. Why the heck not? Let's see. I'm gonna spawn them uh, down here, I guess. Another one of those survivalists from last time who are super tough. I'll show you the card again. There he is. Three life, super hard to kill. Not gonna fight him. All right, so I've got 10 stamina. I've got two food, but it might poison me, and if uh, this guy hurts me in the fight, that'll kill me to be poisoned. Uh, I've got one water left, so, hmm. All right, well, let's, let's go for broke. I'm going to go twice in the well to get some water, losing with eight stamina left. I'm going to spend three to move on to this guy, and again, I need a 10 to hit him. But I really need a 10 to kill him straight out, so I'm using my final shotgun bullet. Although, oh, that's right, so one of the, uh, there's like a special uh, rock thing last time that let me get some saltpeter and more bullets. But, you know, I mean, if, if I'm getting hurt here and not killing him, it's not really going to matter. So I need a 10, and it'd be great if he got a 4 or less so he didn't hurt me. But I need a 10. I mean, I need a 10. Gotta re-roll. Oh, there's our old friend, the three. Okay, and the seven. Hurts me. And let's, here we go. Yeah, went out of frame just so you could have uh, held with bated breath. Okay, so six does do a damage to him. But the problem is that I am now as hurt as I possibly can be. Five stamina left. Uh, so let's see, with a seven, he is retreating straight backwards again into the the rocks. Huh. All right, so i got to hurt him one more time, but I have no life left. 
So, hmm. I don't currently have anything. So I've got the flight plan, which might give me a weapon, maybe. Um, I can go build the bolas. All right, so let's let's try to do the bolas and get away from some of these enemies chasing me for the moment. All right, so I get one stone. I'm gonna build these bolas. Let's see how good they are. I'm not expecting much, but the nice thing is I do get to get a new project card. I would love to have that stone mace I used to have back. Okay, bow drill to make fire if I have two wood. Not too great, but hey, I'll take it. Okay, bowl. After rolling dice in combat, you may discard this card to apply minus two to the enemy die. Well, gives me a slightly better chance of surviving, but not too special. I've uh, still got two stamina left, and I'm just gonna run. You know what, I don't wanna eat those berries because they might poison me, so I'm gonna run here. Use my power, get a food, and yeah, I mean this is definitely not looking good for me. Uh, so I've got zero stamina left. Let's see what the night card has. Okay, spilled water. I lose a water, leaves me with two, and then I got to eat a food. So I'm down to two berries and two water. Get eight stamina left, and then I have to draw a threat card. Oh man, this is not great. I mean, I can't take any damage, so this threat card could just straight up kill me. Forging bear, uh, our old friend. So he steals one of my berries. I don't have any food or meat, so I still have one berry left, but again, that berry might poison me if I actually eat it. I've got eight stamina left. I'm gonna go uh, exploring a bit and see if I can find something to help me kill this guy. So let's go one here, two to explore this. Ooh, it's the last water source, a little too late, but uh, hey, I mean, it will still help me to get, uh, get the poison. I didn't realize it could be so close. I thought it had been on another number four. So that means there's one on number three, one on number two, and one on number four. That's would have been good to remember. Um, so we've got six stamina left. I can get uh, that wood as food, which I will do to uh, be able to not to die. And you know, there is a question. Let me check the rules real quick. All right, so sadly I just checked and I can't have two items with the same name. Because I was thinking if I just get like a bunch more stone, I can craft like 15 bolas and make sure the guy can't kill me no matter what. Uh, but that's not going to work. So let's go over to the water for two stamina. Well, not water. This is the poison. And um, let's see. So I've got four, eight. I've got room for two things at the moment. So let's get two poison this turn and then I'm sure I'll get more uh, next turn. So I'm out of space and uh, down to two stamina. And we're going to do our last red card and then we're reshuffling them. Okay, so I spend one water. I've got one left. Get seven stamina back up to nine. Time passes. I get to refill some things. Rolling, rolling off screen. I get a 12. So all the food spaces refill. Interestingly enough, I hadn't really gotten any of those. There was only one in uh, the corner that I'd actually done. And um, additionally, I have to draw a threat card. Uh-oh. So again, could be instant death. Let's see what happens. Oh no, a bear. He takes my berry and my meat. So I am now out of food. Okay, there's some berries down there. Which is back where I need to go anyway. So let's see, to get to them, I'll be one, two, three, four, five stamina. Don't really want to be within range of the survivalist though. Because now the move three card could come back out. Man, I wish I'd re-rolled wood, then I'd be swimming in food. Um, okay, so gonna get two more poison. Yeah, because I've got five, nine, that'll leave me one space left. So that's seven stamina left. One, two, three, four, five. Leaves me with two stamina left. These aren't berries, I could be in really big danger. Oh, 13. Did I get that one last time? Well, let's see. Yeah, I did get this last time. I uh, roll a die. If I get a 1 to 6, I gain a poison, which we'll just get with the ones I already have. If I get a 7 to 12, I'll get an expiration card. And this time I got a 7 to 12, so hopefully it's food. Number 19. Hey, these berries are not only delicious, but good for you. Gain one food and one medicine. That was great. I don't actually have room for that. So, oh, shotgun. Bye. <laughs> I don't need to hold on to you anymore, do I? I don't think I'm going to find that salt, Peter, that would give me the ability to make you useful, so there we go. All right, well that worked out pretty well. I have uh, two stamina left. I do want to get away from the survivalist. Um, I've got one food and one water. So I've got enough to get down to this guy, but then uh, 
I mean, I'm going to be pretty much dead. Ah, oh, man, I mean, this seems kind of hopeless, but, you know, I'm not going to give up yet. So I'm just going to move... I'm not going to move at all. I'm just going to hope that I don't get the uh, card that moves that survivalist two spaces toward me. Okay, malnourished. Uh, I must spend one food and one water. Now, what really sucks is... I could just take the sickness damage and then use my medicine to heal it, and I wouldn't have to spend food or water, but since I have no damage left, I have to do the food and the water. Um, I gain seven stamina, so I'm up to nine. The flames burn out, but they already did. And then each monster moves two towards me. So the survivalist is right next to me, which is actually kind of preferable. I'll have this guy go. I'll have him go like that. I don't know if two guys can occupy the same space, but let's say they can. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a like nice bit of breathing room, but I have no food, no water. I can get some water, though, when I go to fight the guy. I mean, but really, the guy's probably going to kill me, so <laughs> this will probably be over very soon. Okay, nine stamina. So one, two, three, four. Leaves me with uh, five stamina left. Um... Fight him, I'm going to need three. That'll be the end either way. So, we've got two stamina left. So, let's get O water with one of them. Um, I don't have any food, so if I have to spend food on the next card, I'm going to be dead anyway. And let's fight him. All right, so <laughs> just to remind you, I need a 10 to hit him. Uh, he needs a 5 to hit me. He's got one damage on him. Um, I wish I had a flame item. Never even seen a flame item. The, the other guy was, there was like a, a wolf that was weak against them too, but I've never seen one. Alright, dice gods, you've hated me a lot this time. So, I'll say I have Ebola. Not, not Ebola, Ebola. <laughs> and, uh, he hits off 5+, plus, but the bola subtracts 2, so if I get a 6 or less on his die, I don't die. Because uh, I can use the bola. And then I have uh, four poison, which means I need to get a six or higher on the gray die with a reroll. So first, let's see if the red die is a six or, or no, sorry, a seven or higher. If it is, I'm dead. It's not? Oh, my gosh. Where was this roll? <laughs> Where was this roll when I had the shotgun? Well, in any case, hey, I got a second lease on life, sort of. I defeat the guy, so I advance to stage three and find out <laughs> what the heck I'm supposed to be doing next because clearly I haven't escaped yet I'm just killing the guy with the abomination defeated you are able to turn your focus to survival fortunately there's plenty of this phosphorescent white, white, white fungus for you to eat it seems to be growing everywhere and eating it quiets your headache for a while when the military finds you they carefully place you in quarantine as they whisk you away you watch a massive fireball blossom above what had been your campsite god says one soldier I hope that contains this stuff could you imagine if anyone spread that farther your headache starts getting worse immediately. It lasts the rest of your life. Oh, I won. Hey, okay. That was unexpected. I did not think I was going to win this one. I thought you all were going to watch a, a slow starvation. Um, but it seems to imply that good old Granny Gertrude ignored her gardening instincts and ate uh, the white fungus that probably turned the abomination into the abomination in the first place. So, uh, yeah. And I remember there were, like, some fungal wolves that eaten it, too. So I wonder if I'm going to, like, spread some kind of new plague. That, that'd be exciting, right? Yeah, everyone likes plagues being spread. Not really. Please, I, I think plagues are terrible. Sorry if anyone's sick. Um, yeah, so that was scenario two. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I'm going to need to think. I'm not sure if it feels different enough from scenario one. But the storyline's kind of interesting. We'll leave it there for now.